Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and since last few videos, we will be working on various data connection with ClickSense. And in continuation of that, this is my next video to demonstrate you how can we connect ClickSense with SQL by using SQL connector or by using OLEDB. So either we can set up ODBC or we can set up OADDB as well. So in order to use ODBC, first of all, we need to set up a local DNS or DSN on our system. And instead, in case of using OLEDB, we have an inbuilt option. We can quickly provide the provider on fly and we can provide the credentials and details and connect to the SQL server. So I'm going to use OLEDB in this case. So first of all, let's create a new app here. So I click on new app and named as BISP. SQL connector create app I'll open app and here I click on add data here we have got various database connection So we have got multiple connectors here for all file Apache high for Cloudera Impala or Delimit uh, delimited files or Terra data, Sybase, Salesforce, REST, Postgres, SQL, OLEDB, OADBC, and so on. So we have an option for ODBC. So if you have already set up a DSN on your system, you can use that ODBC. Or if you want to configure connection on fly or in directly into uh, ClickSense, then we can use OLEDB. So I click on OLEDB. In next step i need to provide the provider so i'm going to pro specify a provider microsoft either we can go for sql server native client or we can select microsoft oledb provided for sql server so we can choose any one of them so i go with the first one and then i provide the data source name so my data source is bisp pc that's my server name bisp pc and i provide the credentials the login credentials for this server so I've already provided the credentials, BISP PC, username, password. Click on test connection. So it will test the connection is successfully established or not. And then it will highlight this load button. And so I got a message text successful. And when I click on load button, it will pull the data from SQL server and all the databases. It will give a list here and select databases and we can choose databases here. So now we can choose a database. So I'm going to use AdventureWorks database because this AdventureWorks database has got tables. So I'm using this AdventureWorks database. We can rename it. So I can re I go with the same data set, the same name, BISP PC and next. So in next data set, in next screen, it asks us to choose a database so I'm going to, I'm selecting the adventure works database and what's the owner DB or human resource or person or production so if I look at my database I'm interested in production uh, I'm interested in human resource dot employee pay history I'm interested in human resource dot employee pay history so in this case I select human resource and within human resource owner we have got tables employee pay history so I select this employee pay history and it will load the data over here. It will give a preview and we simply click on load data and finish. So like this, it will load the data from SQL server into ClickSense and then now once the data gets loaded, we can visualize the data by using ClickSense or various reports and various charts or graphs which are available on ClickSense. So I click on edit sheet and now we can quickly drag and drop bar chart and we can add dimensions and major font. So I click on add dimension and in add dimension I add employee ID and in major I add rate and sum of rate. So that's how we can quickly visualize it. We, we can visualize the SQL server data by using ClickSense with the, by connecting SQL server with ClickSense. So that's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If that's so, don't forget to press like button on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you want to know more, if you want to get more videos on ClickSense. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.